I just got back from the grocery store. I'm not gonna give you a whole haul, but I thought I'd show you some autumn little goodies I found. Um, of course, classic caramel apples. I love these things. I love these things, so I'm excited. <laughs> and I thought Remy would like them maybe this year. I'll let him try some. I also got apple cider donuts. They also had pumpkin. But I'm thinking I'll like these better. I'm more of an apple. Apple over pumpkin person. But I do like pumpkin. There's not all pumpkin things. So I'm going to have one of those in a little bit. Another apple thing. I like these little apple straws. <laughs> and so does Remy from Aldi. So I got those. I think they just have them during the autumn season. So they're good. Seasonal find. Um, and then of course, some pumpkin Reese's to fill our pumpkin jar. I also found, this is a mat I found at Aldi and I like it. I really liked this, like, I think it was a farmer's market one and it had like apples on it and, um, it was cute, but I was like, I feel like that's more of like a September, October, like I want it still have it out in November but this one could go into like the Thanksgiving like holiday season so I got this one because I thought it could be out longer and like it made more sense so we're gonna put that out later I'm planning to decorate the front steps and um also our flower baskets just gonna put some like things I found at the store this week I'll also show you that I'm just going to put pumpkins and gourds in the flower baskets. Might be kind of heavy, but I'm also going to throw in some of this harvest corn. So just going to put that type of stuff in the flower baskets because they're in this shade. And I'm not really sure what will do good in the shade. But I also got some mums. We got a pumpkin because we went to like this little Halloween town market thing. Um... And I picked up one pumpkin, but my mom said she had quite a bit of orange pumpkins coming up in her garden and that she was going to give me some. So I don't have a ton of pumpkins to put out front on the steps besides that one pumpkin I got this weekend. But I will soon and I just didn't grab any more because I know those are coming. So anyways, I'm going to mostly decorate the flower baskets. Um... A little bit of the front steps and yeah we'll see where the day takes us but I am planning to switch over Remy's clothes from like summer to fall I'm gonna keep a few summer pieces in there because we still have some kind of warm days but I've noticed the weather just getting cooler and cooler and I think it's time to break out the warmer clothes so I'm going to switch those over today decorate the outside and we'll see what else I get to. basket I have that are his like winter fall clothes and then we gotta clear out this this is where I keep his tops and I've been kind of lazy about it it looks a mess <laughs> and then these are his bottoms and pajamas but he only has like a couple long sleeve and sweatshirt sweatshirts the rest are tank tops and stuff and I might keep some of them, but I'm going to switch most of them out. 
Um, but yeah, I have plenty of full winter clothes in here to put in there. But I just want to keep a few summer things just because it is still like highs of 75 by the end of the day. So kind of like sweatshirt and shorts weather. His, like clothes that he wore in the winter and he was 12 months but I kept like a few in here just in case like there was like cooler nights or whatever like these sweatshirts he had these onesies but they're long sleeve and they're not gonna fit him very well this year this winter um and then a ton of like summer onesies that like, he kind of still fits into, but, like, the summer season's just, like, over. And then these were long sleeve shirts, like, from last winter that are gonna be too tight on him. Some pajamas that were 12 months still in here. And then over here, I kept his summer stuff that fits him pretty big or, you know, fits him well out. Um, And could possibly, because there's, like, some that's, like, well, this is 24 months, but some of them are 2T. And I'm going to put them in there once I have that in his drawers. So that we're going on a trip to Florida next month. And I figured I could put his summer stuff in there to pack. And just have for like that trip. And then um, I did want to put some of the sweat shorts back in there for just as it's getting like cooler but not super cool yet he might still wear them so I'm gonna go ahead put some things in the drawer put those things in the drawer and then whatever is left I'll put in there sweaters, sweatshirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, and today's laundry day so we'll see how much bigger this gets. <laughs> and then in here sweatpants, like thicker pants, um, overalls, waffle pants, shorts, and some pants from last year that still fit him I put there. And like I said, it's laundry day, so I'll probably fill that up. And I'll definitely fill the pajamas up more. I also saw that we had some Christmas jammies in this basket. So I put them in there and just put them in the back. Um, but yeah, we got it all situated. Summer clothes that will probably still fit him for Florida. And possibly next summer. And then everything that doesn't fit him. In here, I'm going to go put downstairs in our basement. And I just put this basket, like, all the way up there. Remy's up from his nap. It's quite a bit later in the day. But um, when I went to get him, I saw this book. And I wanted to show you guys because I just got it this weekend at TJ Maxx. And I think it's such a cute autumn book. And it's even by Autumn Publishing. Like, <laughs> it's so cute. And I think it, like, looks very similar to, like, these type of books and I love to get like his whole first year I would get him one of these for every season because I love them and think they're so cute and I got most of them at TJ Maxx too because they just are usually like half off they're like this book was $3.99 so cheap and it's such a cute book 
um, but I love it because it's like a longer board book. Like it's not super long, but it's long enough that it's like a good bedtime story. And it like tells how like a tree is planted from like seed to seedling and like all that all the way to a tree. So love that because it's you can learn something from it, but it's also super cute and just a cozy looking book for the autumn season. So I love that book, um, but I figured I'd go ahead and get the flower or the I call them flower baskets, but they're window baskets. Get the window baskets decorated with the pumpkins and the gourds and the corn. And I wonder if I'm going to have extra. I don't know. I was saying earlier how like my mom was going to give me some pumpkins for the front porch that I haven't got yet. And I don't have much to go on there. But also next weekend we're going to the pumpkin patch with my in-laws. And that's usually where I get a pumpkin for Remy and Shiloh for our porch and one for Shiloh. Um, for her grave so we usually paint those and do all that which we'll probably do next week or next weekend um, but I'm not going to be putting too much out on our porch uh, this video but I will probably have more out next video if I end up showing that um, but we do like to paint the pumpkins we get at the pumpkin patch and we used to carve them, Andrew and I, but I just think it's easier. And now with Remy, it's going to be easier just to paint them. So I think we'll do that. I do like um, a Remy-themed pumpkin and a Shiloh-themed pumpkin. And I think Remy's going to be able to paint one himself this year. So that will be fun. But anyways, we'll go ahead, go outside, get all that decorated. decorated I'm not so sure about the f window boxes I like them they definitely look better like when you're standing back a little bit rather than close up but they look good like they look harvesty and like cute <laughs> 
but at the same time i'm thinking next year i might like put some fake flowers in there instead because i just randomly thought of that because i always like bring fake flowers to shiloh's grave and they always look really nice and um i found some really nice looking autumn looking flowers the past couple years and i think they would just look nice in the flower boxes or window boxes because like i like this but i'm like don't know if i love it to do it every year like i think i might like flowers better um so we'll see but i do like having moms i love moms i can never keep moms alive though so if you have any tips let me know down below because I've kept them alive for like a month, but that's like the longest I've been able to so far. I usually keep them in the container they come in. So maybe that's why I planted them in planters this year. So we'll see if that helps, but I'm not really sure. I just, I cannot keep them alive, but I'm going to try my best. And if you have any tips, let me know. Um, but I do like everything turned out um i do love our new doormat we had the same doormat for a long time um and so i really like seeing like an autumn doormat there for the season so i'm happy about that um i did also want to show you because last video i told you about that pink pumpkin my mother-in-law got me but i never showed you where i put it so i ended up putting it on this end table in the front and I don't know if you can see it, so I'll show you, but I found out that it lights up, so it's actually really cute, and I think it will be cute, like, when trick-or-treaters come, because it's, like, right in the window, and they'll see it, and it's really cute, so love that, and I think it looks good, like, with this darker color, like, the pink looks up, good up against it, so I'm happy with that, um, but yeah. I think that's it for today's video. We're warming up dinner right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.